Whoa, I thought he was dead. I can't believe he survived. Okay. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. We're back in our vanilla series and we're gonna do a couple of things today. I'm not sure exactly in which order or what we're gonna do out of all of the items I have on my list. Because, you know, unforeseen events and all that and getting inside of, oh, bird's nest, things like that. So um, we have a couple of things queued up. We have more darts coming in. We need more iron. So we definitely need to mine some iron. Um, I don't think I have a lot, I don't have any iron left. So we wasted most of us to make forged iron. I have a lot of concrete mix being made and queued up. I think I want to make actually wet concrete out of that and then with the rest just keep making it. Actually, let's unqueue that and requeue that. So that way we um, have a stockpile coming in, which is good. So we take this wet concrete and we're going to use that for starting at least our build. I think what we're going to do today now that I'm thinking about it is a couple of things and a little bit of everything. So we're going to start looking how we want our base. Thank you so much also for sending me all the videos and the links. There's a couple of base designs you actually have shared with me, which I think are really good. And I think either way, we're not going to get around playing the game in a certain way out of about two or three ways. So one way is, for example, if you take a clock, yeah, clock, for example, has a really great base at a hotel. And the reason it works well is because he's able to um, leverage the gravity physics in the game. So basically, he can have all his legs destroyed and the base is not going to collapse because of the way the hotel is holding everything up. And that's really clever. So this is really, really good. Another thing is to use the wedge blocks as a pyramid, but as well as a bridge. I never thought about that. I know you guys were showing me parts of a bridge to be uh, the wedge blocks, you know, what we tried out after we watched Joe Woodle's video. And we can actually make the complete connection from stairs to bridge, like this complete connection here. We can make that wedge blocks all together. So this space here is still going to be something we're going to use to fall back in. And we're going to have traps there. We're going to have all sorts of things in there. Actually, I'm making traps. I, I, I need to make sure that I don't divide them too much. But we are going to have some electric fences here and at least one trap on either side, which is going to shoot the zombies in the face so that if we get into trouble, we can always come back in here and lock this up. And we're going to upgrade this to steel. We need to get to steel or steel cauldron, which means ah, it's um, shenanigans. Let me see. Where would that be unlocked? I think it's unlocked in... I mean, I mean, it's between Darkness Falls and this. I keep getting mixed up with the names of things and where everything is. I think it's in Intellect and Advanced Engineering. This is where we... Yes, Forge Steel. So if we get to level 10, this is probably what would be a very good way and a very good road to go. But I think, yes, Science 2 is the next step so we can craft oil. For that, we need oil shells, so we also need to go into the desert. So as you can see, we have a couple of things we need to do. One of the things is we just get more metal. So I don't think we have all the parts to make an auger. We... Oh, actually, what did we unlock? Was it a saw? A chainsaw we unlocked, but not the auger. Okay, fair enough. So I don't think we have an auger in this one. No, we don't. We have... The auger in Darkness Falls, that's right. So the auger schematic, we can either find it or we can do it through advanced engineering. But either way, it will cost motor tool parts, which we don't have. And it takes forged steel, which we don't have. So we're going to need to get into steel at some point anyway. So we have a little iron mine, I think, right here. This is lead. One of them is iron. There we go. So we're going to head over there, do a little bit of mining for iron. And then we're going to put on some more iron to burn so we can make more darts because I have a couple of dart traps now made. I made only three. I don't know where they are. I probably put them in the box and I made a couple of repair kits. We're ready to go. So let's get some resources. Let's start working on where we want our base to be um, probably here on the side and start designing the little baby pyramids that are going to be connected with one of those pyramid like bridges in a staircase. The staircase is important because... The staircase will make the zombies come always from that side. And when they fall down, we can have left and right, which I'm hoping to be able to pull off that they don't get attracted to it. We can have left and right of that um, bridge, the pyramids. And then when they fall down on the side of the bridge, that is where we can bombard them and hit them. And we're going to have obviously some fences there as well. So we're going to try to leverage them having to walk around constantly to the stairs and try to shoot them as much as possible on the way. Anyway, so a lot of, lot of waffle, but it needs to be done. So let's go and 
hammer away on some iron. Where are we? We're actually right here. So there has to be a hole here. There we go. Excellent. So we're going to dig a hole. We're going to go on a little bit of a quest for iron. And we're going to um, have some darts being made. And then we're going to go into the desert. And after we have all those resources done, hopefully we're going to be on year signs too. So we can start queuing up some oil. Because oil shale in the desert should be easy to find. And we definitely will bring back a lot of sand, a lot of oil shale. And then we're going to be well on our way. We have, I think, 60 or 80 pipe bombs. So we are this time a little bit more prepared. But one of the things I want to be prepared at, at is have power. Have the dart traps. Have turrets if we even can get to that point. And definitely have enough fuel and engines uh, to power everything we need. And plate traps even. I mean, I think we actually have plate traps unlocked. So if we look at here, plate traps are unlocked. We can't actually craft. No, we can't because they're steel. So we might be able to buy them. We're going to have to go to the trader as well before we go to the desert to hand in our quests. And or quests, I don't know. Do we have two done or one? Do we have two done to hand in? And then we'll see if we get a new one. We might do a quest as well today. So it would be good to have an episode where a little bit of quest, a little bit of progress, a little bit of grinding, a little bit of building, all those shenanigans, and maybe a little bit of zombie killing too. So we'll see. So this actually is quite a big iron mine. Look at this. It started off with that one dot, a little bit of a vein going down here. Let's just dig this up so we have a little bit of a slate. There we go. Look at that. And there's even more here. That is amazing. So we have, yeah, we have this here. This is still iron. That is amazing. Okay. And then here, oh, that is beautiful. There is so much iron and it keeps going down, down. There's more here. And there's more everywhere here. That is beautiful. I like it. Nice. Excellent. We have a lot of iron now. So put about a grand and a half in here. And then have a grand and a half down there. We actually got some gold nuggets and some silver nuggets. And that is from the book titles where we have Wasteland Treasures. Um, the Tastiest Waste in the Wasteland. Live. Is it this one? Small chest to have honey from trees. It's this one here. I always forget. Hack. No, that is to purify water. And learn to weave plant fibers into cloth. No, there was something else. It was... We were definitely out of mining. There we go. A small chance to find red gems. So we actually found, during that whole time we were mining, two silver nuggets and one gold nugget. Which is pretty amazing. Oh, what do we have here? A generator bank. Oh, yeah, the generator bank. We have the generator bank downstairs already, but we also can craft it now, which is good. Now, plate traps, we need steel. We don't have steel. So, dart traps will be the only thing we can make. I have, I have three dart traps here. Let's bring them downstairs. And I have 400 dart traps already made and 400 queued up. So, we basically have some dart traps here. Very good. We have some junk turrets and we have electric fence posts. Um, I don't want to necessarily have another horde net here. However... I don't think we, we, we might not have a choice. What I would like to do, though, is have this as a backup kind of horde base and then start building a proper base that we're going to use to build a base on top of. But that is also going to be something we can withstand a horde night at or something. Or maybe we'll build a proper base separately. I don't know. So I don't know. We're going to build a couple of things and hopefully we're going to get the time to do it. But let's get the bike out. Let's get the bike cycle out and let's go hunt in the quests and see what juiciness we get. This is such a nice flat area. I love this map. It's absolutely amazing. Well, I don't like the map. It's very hilly. But you guys were telling me about this tool you can download or whatever. And it's it's really, really good. And I looked at that before that you can generate maps with. And I really like that. But I don't have the patience to sit down and design a map. So I might actually see if there is maps that we can actually... Is it, is it something can be done through a modlet, I wonder? Yeah, so actually I'm going the wrong way all the way together completely. We have to go the other way. Um, I wonder if there's a modlet someone can make that will literally just load maps. So the moment you load the game, it loads all these maps that are pre-generated from this tool. That would be pretty awesome because some of these maps have, have lovely flat area. There's, oh, they're beautiful. It's just, they look amazing. And I saw them and I was like, oh, I would love to play on that map. You know, nice flat area. Because hills mean nothing to me. They have no purpose, really, besides sometimes really be able to generate some real awesome terrain where you kind of go, yeah, I can see myself building a base between these two mountain tops. But with all the physics and everything, it's, it's very hard anyway. So, but yeah, if, if there would be a way to make that into a model, that would be amazing. Nice, getting some juice here as well. I'm not going to buy everything because I don't want to upload too much. Um, offload um, or load on too much. We're going to eat that. We need a little bit of health. 
Um, mining is dangerous. Things fall on top of you. Is Welcome that bookshelf? Or is that kind of Feel free to look around. Here is your All right. Reward. Okay. So what do we want as a reward? Oh, Another want. beaker. That would be amazing. Or we already have the schematic for that. A burning shaft mod. We already have that. Iron spear. So the beaker actually would be the, the logical thing here because I think we need the beaker as well to craft. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, out of all of this, the beaker, I think, is the most logical here. Okay, maybe I see your inventory. Okay, excellent. Now, let's sell this. Beautiful. And we can sell this hammer as well. That's why I fixed it. And we use the level 3 hammer. So, and the level 4 one we can craft. We can fix that ourselves. So, let's see if there's any parts in here. No, there's just rifle parts. Okay, junk trots for Jake. There's no um, auger, whatever they're called, machine parts or whatever. We have forged iron. Do they have forged steel here? Because that would be pretty amazing. No steel knuckles and nothing. And do we have casing, tips? We have to look for the usual and powder. No, I think we bought it all last time. Nitrate powder, it's different. Casing. Okay, and tips. Excellent. All right, let's go out and kill some fools. Hey, you! How are you? Okay, let's just get all in there. In there, look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, right over the noggin. Oh, right in the stomach. There we go. Oh, it was a bit eager there. There we go. Once they start moving, it's very hard to shoot them. Well, for me anyway. So let's eat that. Very good. Oh, hello. You brought a friend. Nice. She down? There we go. Lovely. We should get bonuses for headshot, as in like experience bonuses. They're so beautiful. There we go. Nice. Okay, and... Anybody else alive? No. Okay. Ah, 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 no touchies, lady. We're very strict no touchy policy. Now let me get back on my bikey. And we're gonna head over to the other trader to get the other quest hunted in. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's this one. The one that I was like, huh, I wonder what quest it is. I can't find it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I forgot they turn white and if you don't have them selected and they show you where you have to hand it in because I'm a doofus. That's what we are. We are doofus fun dingus. Definitely gonna buy all the coffee. Absolutely. And uh, that's only max 7 of 5 health, a little bit of water, that's fine, soup, but, oh yeah, cans of sham, we definitely want that. Um, I think I bought enough. Does that give us any water? Actually, stamina, Reagan, water, it actually does, that's awesome. Okay. Excellent stuff. So, we're doing really well on the food. Yeah, food, we're doing really well now, and drink is going up as well. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Are you okay there? I am okay there. I never would have guessed you'd pull through, but you did. Look at so that. Here you go. We already, I think we have the water purifier mod, actually. Yeah, we do. You must think you're pretty hot. Shit I know now. we don't have iron gloves yeah, now. We um, so we basically hard. found, uh, or we we found a book, okay? And I was being a bit of a dingus in the last episode again, as usual. So we found a book, and I'm not sure where it is in. It is one of these guys, but it basically reduces us getting hit or something. So increase attack speed, seconds cover from attack speed. So it basically ignores armor or something. Yeah. So, which I'm not really sure. It's not under lucky looter. It's is there another box? Is there another row? Here we go. Urban combat. Yeah. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat, which means it will slow us down when we're not in combat. But when it matters, we're not. Which is actually now a good reason to start getting into heavy armor, which is basically um, iron armor, yeah? So if we look at iron armor here, like the iron chest armor and all that, we have to get into heavy armor. That is why in the last episode I found these gloves and I sold them or I scrapped them, yeah? And I didn't even think about, oh yeah, I should probably use them because now armor doesn't matter when I'm in combat, yeah? So, oh, we have another. I didn't see. You I didn't sell that. Okay. Pretty hot shit now. So well, I'm not gonna get so these ones this time because they're actually rather a shotgun. Where will I get the? Oh, 
You see, that is really good. We get a lot of bullets with this for a magnum. And once we have a magnum, that would be really, really awesome. And this we can craft if we unlock heavy armor. So I'm not too worried about this yet. And we can find a lot more. I'm going to take the armor. Oh, the shotgun is tempting, though. But it's a level 2, and it's only 16 damage. It's 10 pallets. It stuns the target for 4 seconds, though. All right, all right. We're going to take the gun. Oh! Tier 2 complete reward. Oh, we got a second one. Nice. Okay, okay. Leather gloves level 3. Okay, that's level 3. That's very good. And none of the other ones are actually looking like they're much better. This would be a couple of hundred extra gold. But, yeah, okay. Let's take the leather gloves. Excellent. Okay, let's try them on. Wear them. Then we can destroy that. So that will slow us down now when we're out of combat. But as soon as we're in combat, it shouldn't... Well, it says slow down, but we still incur the stamina effect, I think. Urban Condor, armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. So, which means, while it might not slow us down anymore, the mobility penalty goes away. It still has a stamina. So we have to be careful, because it doesn't alleviate the stamina penalty. That's not a thing, and that might be another bug, potentially. Let's see, is there actually another bug? Sneak landing means sneak over trash, craft the gas, take 5% less silence, I have no damage penalty, sneak land. oh, that's good. I didn't know that last time you were pointing that out as well, thank you so much. So, armor does not give you a stamina um, penalty, is not a thing, but we'll see. Okay, what do we have here? We have, oh, we have concrete mix, which was, would be great, but it's very expensive. We have a lot of rebar blocks, which would be good because that would be like straight away cobble. Um, sorry, um, concrete. Oh, here, look at that. Glue. Let's get all the glue. Definitely get all the glue. All the duct tape. That would be really good. I don't like the double barrel shotgun because it's like one shot or something and that's it. Um, oil shale we're gonna find now. We're gonna go actually get oil shale and I'm tempted to buy the forged iron But then forged steel might actually be better Hmm I'm not sure actually what I want to look for is if we have a crucible No, it doesn't have a crucible What do we have here an SMG? Ooh Oh, we actually could nearly afford that. That would be amazing. Okay, so let's sell the silver nugget. Oh, we're so close. So why don't we sell... Oh, I don't want to sell the hammer because we can make a new one. But we can sell a couple of repair kits, I suppose, because we can make them now that we bought some more stuff. Okay, and um, let me see. If we sell one... And then another one, and then... Oh, we're just 20 short. And I don't want to sell the pump action shotgun. And I don't want to sell the hammer. It's a pain to craft it again. Okay, let's do it. There we go. 3861. Let's buy the SMG. I think that would be important. 38 damage, and the pistol is 46. It does more... more it does less damage, but it has a bigger magazine... More rounds, more durability than a level 4 pistol, and it has a bigger effective range. That is pretty amazing. And it uses the same bullets. So I think what we should start doing is maybe um, not sell that, but take well, the modifications it's about time out. You bought something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take the modifications out. I think we only can put one mod into the SMG at this time. Yeah. So let that be a reflex sight, I would say. There we go. And now we're at 41. So that way we can use that when we have the oh crap moment. And we can use the pistol. Still for that. Excellent. And let's repair the pistol as well. So we actually have a quest with him. Which is a clear quest right beside us. Which we could do just to test out the SMG. I think that would be pretty awesome. 
Let's do that. Here's the house, and actually one interesting part is that there is a well. I saw a well at the end of the house. Just over here on that side. There we go. This is the well house. This has an underground base. We're gonna have to check this out. We're gonna have to check this out. Also, what do we have here? I don't know this house. I'm not sure if I remember this house style or where the treasure is, but before we're gonna kick off the quest, let's go in and see if we can find the big tre- Ah, Genie Mac. I thought it was a dog, but it was deer dog. Do deer, deer. Genie Mac. Okay, a doe deer, whatever. So let's go in and let's check it out. Let's see what we have in here. Hello? Okay. Anybody here? Okay, nobody here. Whoa! Okay, what do we have here? Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's not waste a lot of ammunition. Are we reloaded? Yes, we are. I think so. No, we weren't. It wasn't finished with the animation. Okay, we're not gonna actually... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh actually... Rubbish! I'd rather pick up rubbish than anything else. Well, we're gonna leave this rubbish. Okay, what do we have here? Somebody's actually following us? There we go. Okay, come on. There we go. We set you on fire now. How do you like them apples, dude? There we go. Nice. And another right click. And beautiful. And he's down and we're leveled up. That is beautiful. I like it. We're definitely going to search those boxes. Okay, we're not going to take... Actually, you know what? It's brass. It means bullets. It means things. Happy, pretty things. I'm looking for big boxes here. I'm not looking for anything small. Oh, look at that. We don't actually need a lot of that, but we're probably going to take it anyway before we restart. Oh, excuse me. So that is where the treasure is, is it? Okay. Will we take the radiators? I think we should take the radiators. We definitely have to take the radiators. Okay, let's see here. Where is the boxes with the deliciousness? Okay, there's a purse here. Come on. Okay, this is really frustrating. Come on. There we go. I could see it. I could see it. There we go. We got it. Oh, nice. That is really, really good, actually. Okay, beautiful. Okay, do we have anything here? I know this house. There's zombies probably in there. But where is the treasure? Is there a basement, actually? There is a basement, isn't there? So let's get this open here. There we go, nice. And he's dead. Okay. Oh! Holy balls! How is he not dead? Okay. Whoa! I thought he was dead. I can't believe he survived. Okay. Maybe we should have gone on the ready. You never know what happens. Okay. I just want to know where the treasure is. Is there a basement? Is there a basement? Okay. Is there another box here on top? Oh, there's another one of those handbags or backpacks. Okay, we're not gonna do a full search search. Actually, we're only here for the big treasure and the clear out, so... But, we definitely want to take the radiators, because they were... Where were you? Oh, okay. Let's see if you're a fast one. There we go. Two shots and that. That is awesome. Actually, we're gonna get some food if we can. Beautiful. It will give us back some health, which is always handy. Let's see if we have any more food. Okay, yeah, we can drink that. We can, we can do this. Is there anything in here? Anything up there? Oh, there is uh, the we weathered backpack. And, okay. <laughs> is there a basement? There has to be. Where's the big bar? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, what is behind here? Oh, rubbish. Hmm. The 
Definitely something in the rafters. Oh, look at that. There they are. So do we go the proper way around? Holy balls on a cracker riding a bike. That was intense, okay? And we're gonna have to do that again. At least now we know where they're from. Where they're gonna be coming from. Holy balls. Oh, look, they have a chemi station. Ooh. Okay, we got a schematic. That's really good. Do we get actually steal from that or is it just forged iron? I mean, if we get forged iron in some parts, so we definitely should take them apart. Absolutely. There we go. And this is a working one, but it's gonna refresh anyway, so we might as well take it apart as well. Yeah, getting some parts here. Okay, and we're gonna take the cement as well. There we go. It's just two hits. Is that two bags? That's just one. Okay, now. We're gonna take the fast gun in case there's gonna be fast zombies. Okay, we have a box here. And we're gonna have zombies in here. There they are. There we go, nice. Always try to stick with the single shots. We have a cardboard box here. Very nice, we have beautiful stone resources. These resources are amazing. And we're definitely gonna get all these resources because we're gonna do this house twice for that. I'm not gonna show you any of the resources the second time. We're literally just gonna do the clear out and then go straight for the treasure box most likely. I think somebody might be coming down the stairs. I'm not 100% certain, but we'll see about that. So, just in case. Okay. That's good. Oh, nice! We've got an engine! That is actually so fitting. To get an engine from a generator makes so much sense. Okay, here we go. We got a lot of forged iron out of this run. Okay, wow! There's like a tunnel underneath? Oh, sweet as. Oh, this is the this is like a house like that. That is amazing. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Nice. So we can probably go right out here. Nice. Oh, beautiful. And this is right here on the side. So we can go through that treasure room first and then kill all the zombies inside. That is amazing. I like it. Okay, somebody's obviously in the house. Okay, let's just be prepared in case we have to shoot quickly. Okay, so let's loot everything here. We have some... Oh, okay. That's a ball cut mod. Do we have an extra mod slot free in this one? Let's just see. Or do we have only three? Uh, two. We have three. We have another one free. Excellent. Because that will increase the resistance a little bit of cold and heat, which is awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, we got a storage pocket. We got weighted mod. This is amazing. We put the weighted mod. Oh, we can't. Okay. That's fine. And we have a pocket here. I think we can put that into armor. Leather gloves, maybe? Yes. Look at that extra pocket on the leather gloves. Really, really good. Loving it. And this one here, we repair and sell. It's a level 3 one, which definitely should sell for a pretty penny. Like 344, that's actually pretty good. We don't need the snowballs at all, but that is good. I can't wait to see what the, what the second time... Oh, look at that. We nearly missed that. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. But it's no healing. Okay, we still have to clear this out here. Shamway. Okay, iron door. We gotta take it with us, but we scrap it if we have to, if we can't, if we don't have room. So that was really, really awesome. Nothing in here. Okay, so let's go out. I'm gonna go the other way around out because I want to pick up. Actually, I can do that the other way around. I'm gonna pick up all the concrete and everything, and then I'm gonna go and restart that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Then we're gonna restart the house. Whew. Okay, let's restart it. I left pretty much everything at home. I just took a couple of sticks with me. There we go. Um, 
sticks. Lock picks. Okay, what time is it? 16.30. Oh, that actually you fall through. Wow. And you get hurt at the same time. Oh, yeah, we, did, we didn't want to go that way. We wanted to go this way. You see how I already forgot that? There we go. Nice. Is there somebody already in there? No. Excellent. Let's just make sure we're going to get back out. There we go. Excellent. So now we can get up and back out. Beautiful. Okay. Let's do it. Nobody here? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, look at that. Okay, the Iron Helmet I'm not going to keep, guys. Now we find an SMG. Is this the, is, is this the game's way of saying, like... Um, I know you just spent some money on this, but like, oh, and we know you just bought a level 3 glove. Please tell me that this is literally, physically, forcefully the game's way of saying, dude, joke is on you. I mean, we literally bought the leather. No, no, sorry. We didn't buy it. We got it as a reward. We, we got that as a reward and we bought an SMG5. Are you absolutely kidding me? Okay, we don't need any of this in here now. That is just sick, okay? So it means we can actually sell this one back. Or we keep them as a backup. It doesn't really matter. But, oh man, this is just so annoying. That is just so annoying right now. Okay, we're not... If, okay, let's repair it. Let's waste the repair kit on it and just see what it actually comes back with money-wise. 192, that's not bad. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's see... Oh, okay. Nice. Excuse me, nice. Uh, we're going to scrap that. Um, muffled connector mods. Oh, wow. So, I think they're the ones... Yeah, reduce noise from armor and then... Oh, 50% damage, damage against iron. Okay, so we literally can take this. I think we already have it. No, we don't. Oh, look at that. So, we now have the wood splitter, the bunker buster, and... Oh, no, we don't have room. Yeah, we're going to take the, wound, the, the that one out because these two make a lot more sense. Yeah, so we have these two instead. Very, very good. I like it. And we can put the other one into our armor, I think. Do we have room for one more? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Let me select it, please. No, we don't. So let's wear it. And let's see if we can put it on... The glove must have a second one. Modify. Yeah, excellent. So we now make less noise, whatever that means. I don't really know, but it's going to be all good. I know the other arm armor is a little bit better, but oh, nice. But we're going to take it home instead. So there we go. Let's open the boxes. Let's see what's in them. Nice. Beautiful. And having the pills first means we can eat the sandwiches. All right, let's clear out the house. That was lucky. <clears throat> we just finished our run. We cleared everything out. I think I've, I've kind of made a montage, if I remember. <laughs> well, not a montage. You just cut it a little bit up. 
you know, the silent ninja stuff, but we were finished. We're finished. It's really, really good. I like it. So we were very lucky with some of the stuff we found, but overall, we found, actually, we found a level 4 wrench, which is really good, and I picked up the extra radiators. We got some of forged iron from all the stuff. Uh, we don't really need that, and we can actually, we, I know we can make pipes, and we have a lot of pipes that we actually for carrying right now. We're just going to destroy all that. Here, we're going to make just a lot more bandages and throw the rest out. There we go, and I'm gonna try to bring the seeds back simply because, well, they're seeds, you know, and um, we have a lot of drink, we have a lot of food, we're actually doing okay for drink and food right now, we had 170 each because I keep eating and drinking every time I find it, and we already emptied that uh, box here as well, okay, so I think that's it, excellent, okay, so let's see if we can get to the trader, I'm not gonna kill the deer now or the doe, whatever it is. Oh, I knew it. We can't pick everything up. Okay, we don't need that. We don't really need the sand. We're gonna go for a separate run for sand. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Surprise, surprise. All right, we get, ooh, That's a hunter's journal and Molotov cocktails. Okay, so hunter's journal. Don't become the prey by using these tips to attack us do to to humans. That's a PvP thing, I think, because as far as I know, I thought zombies were considered human because, well, they're humanoid. They're, they're human. They used to be humans, yeah? So there are humans that are infected. So, but apparently this is humans as in us, and I think so. So it's PvP. So I'd rather take the Molotov cocktails, really, to be honest. There we go. And let's see what we can sell. Um, let's sell, not the beaker, but let's sell the SMG, 384. This one is worth more because it has the actual um, mod in it. So we're going to sell this one. And we're going to sell the helmet and the leather arm. I replaced them. I took the better leather arm. And we're going to replace this pistol. It's level 3. We have a level 4 pistol. And I know a level 3 can theoretically be stronger, but I take the better quality. So there we go. Nice. And we have a spare mod of that. They're not really worth that much, but they're, they're good when you put them into other things. And I think that's it. We could sell this wrench, theoretically, and keep this one because it's only a little bit. We get 97 more uses out of it before we have to repair it. So it's not all that amazingly better, but we have a lot of money now, which is good. So well, good luck with that. Well, thank you. Actually, do you have any more close-by jobs? That would be good for next time. 735 meters to the west. That is more into your, into your um, snow land, yeah, to the west here. So it would be good if you have something northeast. Let me see here. Northeast, 1.5, fetch and clear. Excellent, we're going to do that. Excellent stuff. All right, I'm going to leave this episode here, but in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our base first, of course. Then we're going to do a bit of building during the night time, and then we're going to come back in the morning, and the first thing we're going to do is go into that fountain. Because that fountain is, um, or that well, as far as I remember from Alpha 17 and 16, I think it was in 16, the well is going to an underground base. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one that has a lot of bookshelves as well. But I don't really remember 100%. We'll see. Maybe it's not even one anymore, but we're definitely going to check this out. I just need to go home, dump everything off, queue new things up, make sure we have plenty of things happening and always something crafting and building. And oh my god, there is actually a bag in the snow. How awesome is that? <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Tablets. Thank you. That is so amazing. And because we have the helmet on, we can drink dirty water. But actually, we don't need to. We, we can just go. We're actually going to be okay. Excellent stuff. All right. Anyway, I hope you had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming.